We live in an overly extroverted and superficial world. How many times have you read something like three things introverts can do to become more outgoing and likable? Without stopping for a moment to think. There's nothing wrong with me. You are the one with the problem. You are the one making so much noise I can't even hear my own voice. I'm getting sidetracked already. The point is, this extroverted and superficial world makes us lose touch with who we are as individuals. This shows in every aspect of our lives, including our fitness journey and the industry we are all part of, even if we are unaware of this fact. Our weaknesses and insecurities, and for some even psychological trauma, are magnified under the lens of social media. It makes us compare ourselves to the countless successful online fitness experts and influencers. They seem so superior, while you seem so inferior. The truth is, you are not them. You will never be them. You are you. Hey, what's up, you absolute legend of a human potential? Uh, today we're talking about, as you were probably able to tell by the intro, body dysmorphia in the fitness industry. So the, there's gonna be four points that I'm gonna be addressing, and uh, hopefully you resonate with uh, some of this knowledge. Knowledge! And uh, at the end of the video, there's also gonna be some actual solutions. So uh, hopefully you're gonna watch this and you're gonna be like, okay, uh, I actually feel better about uh, my body. So let's start. Point number one. Everybody thinks they are too small or uh, not big enough or not shredded enough or whatever imperfection they perceive. And uh, that affects everybody else. As you know, that's a motorcycle in the background, okay? As you know, people are not uh, kind of lonely, isolated islands that are immune to influence. So if there's one person, you know, you're like, I feel great in my body, but then uh, there's nine people saying, yo, uh, I'm not big enough, I'm not big enough, uh, you're exposed to the influence, okay, that uh, these huge people, or whatever, maybe they aren't huge, maybe they're just moderately jacked, you're thinking, they are not big enough, then I am not big or shredded enough uh, either, so... Yeah, just wanted to make you aware that humans are connected. And uh, the reason why I'm making this video is to give you some uh, influence, you know, positive influence on this uh, topic. Point number two that I want to address, uh, it actually connects to the intro uh, quite uh, significantly, if you can even say that. Uh, nobody takes the time to look within and realize that there is a personal, mental reason why they feel this way. Comparison is uh, natural, you know, uh, you want to compare yourself to people sometimes just for fun, or, you know, just friendly competition or anything like that, but a genuine feeling of uh, inferiority compared to somebody else is absolutely not natural, okay? And I'll give you uh, proof, alright? So, example number one. Imagine you're a lion in nature. You're thinking you're about to go hunt or something like that. But, uh, you, you know, your body dysmorphia kicks in and then you look at the other lion. You're like, oh my god, this dude has such a massive biceps. I can't even hunt. I, I can't even live and I can't provide for my lion children. It's kind of weird, right? It's completely unnatural to do that. So, in nature, if you were a lion, you would just be like, you know what? I am immersed in the process of performance, and I'm gonna hunt. And I don't care that this guy has better bicep genetics than me. I have better trap genetics or whatever. You get that, right? So, example number two. A child, right? A pure, you know, non-traumatized child. They're like just running around thinking there is nothing wrong with me, I just want to play, I just want to live, and I just want to have fun. So, you know, maybe we should be more like that, because, you know, these kids are healthy in the head. Ah, 
Okay, so uh, point number three, L let me just uh, read that, okay? Uh, even the people who are aware of it, they think uh, that it's a physical problem, not a mental problem. So uh, they deal with it physically, not mentally, which you can't do uh, effectively, right? You know, they're basically coping or whatever by training, right? I'm gonna train my biceps so much more because I have such bad biceps genetics and... Uh, then I'm gonna inject stuff, like cattle substances or whatever, just to grow bigger biceps. Uh, and maybe you're never gonna be satisfied, because you're thinking you're small, but in reality, you're just fine. You just gotta fix what's up here, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, the point is, uh, a mental problem has to be solved mentally. It's not a physical problem. Alright, so, number four, uh, if you succumb to your body dysmorphia, you never win. Uh, the dysmorphia always wins. The only way to win is to walk away from this one-sided toxic relationship that uses you like a parasite. So, uh, just be a warrior king and walk away out of self-respect. That makes sense, right? Why would you hate yourself? It makes no sense to hate yourself, because somebody planted this uh, parasitic dot in your head. <laughs> Very interesting, if you actually think about it, right? I mean, you can't think with your biceps, uh, that's the problem. You can only think with your mind. And uh, here we go, we have arrived at a point five. Uh, it's not really a point, it's just uh, some actual solutions. So, number one thing you want to do, you want to embrace your unique bone structure. You know, some people have longer arms, longer legs, some people have a smaller waist, whatever, right? Muscle insertions, muscle fiber, esoteric giga brain uh, nonsense, androgen receptor distribution, a bunch of random words. The point is you want to accept your body, right? We all have strengths and weaknesses and a... Uh, no one is immune to that, so you have unique genetics, just accept it, bro. Another thing, this is kind of like a social thing, right? The first tip was what you can do in your head. Tell yourself, I accept myself, you know? If you don't, fuck off, right? I do. But the point is, when dealing with others who have body dysmorphia, just let them talk, right? Let them talk and think to yourself that you are separate, right? You're not better than them. You don't want to be better than them. Like, why would you? They're just a normal human being. But you are a separate individual who is uh, grabbing the bull by the horns and actually saying, all right, I'm going to deal with this. I'm going to bring this personal issue to an end. So that's it. Hope it helps, bro.